am trend for men's like houses, and uh, we're talking crazy and odd tour moments. Um, I feel like one thing that happens a lot is because, especially when you're in a bus like this or a bandwagon, uh, you're all usually parked out front of the venue, and quite often you won't leave till well after the show. And sometimes, sometimes the venue's like in a, in a like a, an area with a bit of a nightlife. Uh, we've had a few instances over the last little while. Actually, happened on the first night of this tour, where people just see a tour bus and just go into it. Straight up walk on, like, hey, what band are you guys? I'm like, this is my house, what are you doing? Like, I, I'm not walking in the front door of your house saying that, hey, why do you live here? Like, it's, it's honestly, like, the most uncomfortable thing ever because, you know, we're polite, nice dudes and we try not to be dicks about things, but every now and then just, I don't know, some people just have the most strange sense of entitlement. So on the first night of this tour, um, we'd been parked up, it was about probably one in the morning, we'd finished packing up the show, we're all just starting to get ready for bed, a couple of the guys had gone to a bar to drink, and just suddenly this dog comes racing up, you know, racing up the hallway and racing back down, I'm like, what the hell, and he turns around and runs back down here to the door, and this girl just walks in, um, drunk or high or a combination of the above, it was really hard to tell, it was very erratic behaviour, um, and she just came in, just talking like she'd known us for years, and this dog is super stinking cute, so we're kind of like, hey, there's a dog in the bus, this is awesome, but you're a crazy person, why are you here? Um, and, you know, it, it was basically a, a, a balance of that stage. It was like, how much do we want the dog on here to how much do we not want this chick on here because she is just talking shit. Apparently she figured out we were Australian. Uh, apparently she had an abusive ex who was Australian, so was telling us all about how horrible he was and we should find, like, she try to find out if we knew him and if we could, like, go beat him up or hack him went into a conversation about trying just trying to have as minimal a conversation as possible and loving the dog it's always uncomfortable I don't know if it's a crazy tour story but it just the crazy part for me is just the fact that people somehow just don't realize that this is our home this is where we live on tour this is like our space this is our place to get away from you know work and just relax and kind of get from one place to another and it's just crazy to me that people just don't realize that this is a private space and they just barge on in saying hey what's going on but you know it is what it is, and the dog is still super cute, and I wish we could have kept him. Uh.